Hi everyone, my name is Aviad, I'm a senior developer at Aura Player, and in this video I would like to show you the integration that we have done between the Aura Player Service Manager and the UI Pass Studio. Aura Player Service Manager specializes in creating automation with Oracle system, Oracle EBS system and Oracle form system. We are able to create RPA flows that interact with this system. The purpose of this uh, demo is to show you how you can easily invoke an RPA flow that was created and managed inside the Aura Player uh, Service Manager and integrate it into a bigger RPA flow or sequence inside the UiPath Studio. So this is the Aura Player Service Manager and here you can see a few RPA flows that are available on this system. We will demo how we can invoke one of these RPA flows. We will demo the Ed Journals RPA flow. So let's get into it. And what this flow is doing is to take the content of a CSV file, CSV file like this one, which includes several entries for journal lines, and then create a new journal entry inside the Oracle EBS system, inside the general ledger, and add these journal lines into it. So let's go back to our RPA flow. On the left side, we can see the visual representation of the flow that runs inside the Aura Player Service Manager. On the right side, you can see the inputs and the outputs of this flow. And what we have here is the journal lines, which is the content of uh, the file, the, CS, the journal lines. We have the credentials, the password and the username to log in into the Oracle EBS system and some description that we can add to the new entry that will be created. On the output part, you can see the new journal, which is the ID that will be generated by the Oracle EBS system and will be returned back as the output of this RPA process. We can obviously run and invoke this RPA flow from the Aura Player Service Manager, but in this demo we want to show you how you can integrate it and invoke it from the UiPath Studio. So let's go into the UiPath Studio. And to do this invocation in the uh, easiest way, uh, we have created a special package that can be added to UiPath uh, project. So let's and implement this integration. So let's press the Manage Packages button. And right now, I'm loading it from my local system, but this package will be available on the marketplace as well. So this is the Aura Player Utils package, and all I need to do is to install it and add it to this blank project. And once it will be installed, it will add th two things. It will add a button here with a special wizard that we will demo in a minute. And on the activities, it will add a new branch called Aura Player Utils with a special activity that enables you to easily read a CSV file and prepare it uh, to the RPA flow on the Oracle Service Manager. So let's start with uh, importing uh, the RPA flow inside our a Aura Player Service Manager and invoking it from here. To do that, we will just press this button, the wizard button. And the first thing we will need to do is to set the connection to the Aura Player uh, Service Manager. This is a one-time setup. Uh, you will only need to do it once. So let's uh, put here the URL of the server. We'll put here the credentials. And of course, we'll check the remember me checkbox, so we won't need to do it next time. And once I will press the login button, it will connect to the server. This is the Aura Player Service Manager server and will show us the list of available RPAs. We will demo invoking this RPA, the Ed Journal, so we'll just select it and press the import button. It was imported successfully, and once I will press the refresh button, you will see that it generated a new sequence, a new sequence that actually invokes this RPA from the uh, Aura Player Service Manager. Any RPA that is created on the Aura Player Service Manager can be invoked as a REST API. So what we generated here is an HTTP request. It's already configured with all the correct values. It has here the URL of the server. It has here the uh, parameters that needs to be uh, sent into this uh, that needs to be sent into this invocation into this REST API. We also created an arguments that are mapped to this 
parameters, so it will be easy to use uh, this new sequence, and variables that are mapped to the response, the JSON response that is returned by this HTTP request. We have here the error messages, the success status, and of course the new journal ID that will be returned by this RPA flow. So we have now a sequence that enables us to invoke this RPA flow. Let's create the full flow. As you remember, we want to read a CSV file and then invoke this flow. So for doing that, we'll go back to the activities uh, tree and we will drag this special activity that we have added, the one that creates uh, a CSV file. This is the activity. It needs as an input the a file pass of the CSV file. So let me put it here. And as an input, we will need to set a variable. So let me create a variable here. Let's call it file content. And this variable will get the content of this CSV file. That's it. So now we have an activity that reads the file and puts it into a variable. And we are ready to add to it the sequence that will invoke the RPA flow. So we'll just drag it here. We'll go into the arguments of this sequence and set the proper values. Let's see what we need to add here. For the description, let's put something here. Credentials to log in into the system, the Oracle EBS system. And here on the journal lines, we'll just put the variable that we created before and includes the content of the CSV file. That's it, we are ready. We can run the sequence and invoke the RPA flow from our or player service manager. Here it is, it ran successfully. We can see here the responses. We can also see here the new ID that was generated on the Oracle EBS system. So let's take it from here, let's copy it and let's check that it was actually created uh, on the uh, Oracle EBS system. So this is our Oracle EBS system. Let's log in into it. And this will get us directly to the journals module. Let's put here the ID that was just generated and try to find it. And here it is, it was created. Let's get into it. And you can see here the entry that was created. This is the header of the journal entry. You can see here the description that we added to the flow. And you can see all the uh, journal lines that were inside the CSV file and were added to this entry. So the RPA was executed successfully. Basically, that's it. This is how easily you can invoke an RPA flow from Aura Player Service Manager inside UiPath uh, Studio. Thank you very much for your attention.